Let's very quickly discuss the topic of AI and why we say that the American military needs to be in the forefront of artificial intelligence where it comes to military forces. There are a number of reasons, but let's talk about keeping up with these adversaries of ours. China and Russia investing heavily in AI for military operations, military applications. The U.S. military needs to keep pace in order to maintain its technological edge. What about decision making? AI can help military leaders make better decisions faster by processing large amounts of data. And I'm talking about data from land, air, and sea and providing insights. And I'm talking about an influx of data that is perpetually coming in. It would be difficult for a human to keep up with that kind of data or to even interpret that data. This is why we need AI. We also need AI to improve how lethal we are and how effective we are. The world today is an all-out war on good. People don't even understand good versus bad anymore. Take a look at the recent events in Israel. Take a look at the propaganda. Shouldn't that be a wake-up call to understand that we're not fighting reasonable individuals at this point? AI-powered weapons and systems can be more accurate, more precise, more effective than traditional weapons. And AI can also help to automate tasks. It can help free up a lot of the mundane tasks that soldiers currently do. It would free soldiers up to focus on more complex missions. Let's not forget cyber attacks. AI can be used to develop new and more effective cyber defenses. It is absolutely needed. And AI can also be used to detect and respond to cyber attacks more quickly than a human would. And there are so many more reasons. Let's talk about a few more. If you have been watching television in recent times, over the past month, you'll be able to observe how technological advancements have entered the modern battlefield. The battlefield today is becoming more and more advanced with the integration of drones, which you see everywhere these days. Autonomous vehicles are becoming more and more prevalent and other smart technologies, well, AI can enhance the capabilities of these systems, making them even more effective and efficient. Instead of sending our men and women in uniform into places, you could send an autonomous vehicle that is properly equipped. When it comes to data processing, as I alluded to, and analysis, the volume of data in military operations is immense, and AI can help in processing and analyzing this data quickly. This capability is crucial for making informed decisions in real time. When it comes to autonomous systems, AI enables the development of autonomous systems, including UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, and ground vehicles. And these systems can perform various tasks without direct human intervention, reducing risk to human life and increasing operational efficiency. If you have had friends, family, in the military, you need to be thinking in this way. I am thinking in this way. How can I do my bit to raise the awareness of individuals who may at one point or another become directly involved in these decisions? When it comes to strategic advantage, don't even think for a second that the enemy isn't considering all that I'm talking about as well. Countries with large AI capabilities, advanced AI capabilities, have a potential for strategic advantage in military operations. The integration of AI can enhance decision-making, logistics, and overall military effectiveness. We also need to ensure the ethical use of AI in the military, of course, that's paramount. And here are some ways. Number one, transparency. We need to make AI systems transparent and understandable, ensuring that decision-making processes are clearer. This helps build trust in the technology and prevents unintended consequences because trust me, there are always unintended consequences, but they need to be minimized. 
Let's talk about the importance of human in the loop systems. What does this mean? It just means keeping a human in the loop. When you maintain a human in the loop approach where humans are involved in critical decision making, it just ensures accountability and ethical adherence, making sure that there's no ethical oversight and preventing autonomous systems from making decisions without human input. It's a safety catch. Think about it like a risk coping mechanism. We shouldn't forget about international cooperation because you know we're not in a vacuum, right? We've got neighbors, we've got allies, so we need to engage in international discussions and agreements on the ethical use of AI in military operations and applications. Establishing common ethical standards can help prevent the misuse of AI technologies and promote responsible behavior among the nations. I know there will always be rogue nations, there will always be rogue individuals and bodies, but the United States should be the leader. We need robust ethical guidelines. There are so many aspects that we could look at, but it needs to start somewhere. We need to develop and adhere to strict ethical guidelines for the use of AI in military operations, and this includes guidelines for data privacy, avoiding autonomous lethal systems without human control, and preventing discrimination in decision making. Finally, we need to ensure continuous oversight and review. As we always say in the world of project management, Plan, Do, Check, Act, PDCA, where there always needs to be a check and an act. It's a continuous oversight. It should never end. We implement continuous oversight and review mechanisms to evaluate the ethical implications of AI systems. Regular assessments, for example, could help identify and address ethical concerns that may arise during the development and the deployment of AI technologies. That should always be a box to check, continuous oversight and review. There are so many other aspects to consider when it comes to artificial intelligence in the military. Examples of how AI is being used today, autonomous weapon systems, systems that can make decisions and take actions without human intervention. These systems could be used to carry out a variety of missions, such as surveillance, reconnaissance and attack, AI-powered sensors which could be used to detect and track threats more effectively than traditional sensors. AI can also be used to analyze sensor data and provide insights to military leaders. Now I know not everyone is an AI aficionado, but you don't have to be to understand the relevance of this. If you have family members, friends who have worn the uniform for our American military, I expect you to understand the relevance of what I'm talking about. Forget about the rogue nations, forget about the rogue players who may exist. We need to be in front of this revolution. Let's talk about predictive maintenance because this is very helpful. AI can help predict better when equipment is likely to fail so that maintenance can be performed before that equipment breaks down and it could just help improve the readiness of our military equipment. Finally, cybersecurity. AI is being used to develop new and more effective cyber defenses and AI can be used to detect and respond to cyber attacks more quickly. Overall, artificial intelligence is here to stay. It is helping us today and it will help us tomorrow. If you appreciate the importance of AI to our military, I need you to smash the like button and share it. I understand that at home and abroad we have friends, but we also have foes. We need to be smart. We need to be aware of how AI can help us navigate the treacherous terrains that we battle with. Thanks for watching.